for new year resolution or whatever eh yeah, naona Lisa asema hapa anataka gym yes so uh <laughs> magak <laughs> so t- to imagine magak amenda gym na kina Liz na wanataka kuongeza biceps siji kama hiyo ni kitu Sabrina anaweza ataka anataka kuongeza biceps ama mazigwembe na ukienda gym na unataka kuongeza biceps unashinda ngo kiambu ukimbie na gym trainer si umejua utaanza kukata utaanza kukata juu unaanza kumwambia mimi nataka mikono ndio zikuwe kubwa sitaki kujua kukimbia so basically when you go to the gym uona taka any exercise that is focused on your arms hiyo ndio tunataka kufanya na hiyo ndio tunashinda ukiota So deliberate practice ni hiyo. If you want your arms to be bigger hiyo ndio kitu tunafanya. Wangapi wako na marola kwa nyumba hapa? Za kupunguza tumbo. Ama wenye anafanyanga sit ups kupunguza tumbo. Shida yako ni tumbo. So hiyo tumbo tu ndio unafocus on until uanze kuona progress. Au <laughs> rola tu ya chapo. Kwenda huko teams. <laughs> so kuna wale wafanyanga rollers wa punguze tumbo, kuna wale sijua nataka kupunguza nini, you focus on the area nyo unataka. In programming it is the same thing. That is the only way you can get good. Do your deliberate practice. That's the only way unaweza get better. Another thing, do not be average. Average ina maanisha oh nili manage kuifanya then unaiachia hapo. Always take a step further na upite hapo. Uh, any comment on deliberate practice na venye mtu anai practice if you've ever done it ile unajua i'm now doing deliberate practice sijika kuna mtu yote hapo naye simone mute wenye anajisikia kuongea ndio hiyo swali tena Deliberate practice venye alikuwa anasema ya code una practice on a particular thing so alikuwa anataka kujua watu wanafanyanga aje deliberate practice kwa code at their at their own level mm. <sighs> Okay if it's like to me ufanya Mhm uh-huh. list is level to inafanya jue So yeah, I have my trail of God. So I have a personal trail of God where I list things that I want to do. And so, so I track the progress doing done and on pause and stuff guys. So for example, if I say I want to do maybe hmm, Okay like I can use an example of of uh, of Alex and maybe or what I'm currently nianza kufanya juzi uh and I yuma yo native script so I'm like I list down for what I need to do maybe the introduction and after that first project second project third project So personally when I'm doing say the first project I'm like I'm doing it so, so that I need to know more I, I, at times you realize in the project I try to do some complex stuff just to play around with stuff so basically what I always do just work on sample projects and uh, yeah that's the way I practice how to get things better to me with me okay Naza kuongezea example lingine hata hiyo si hata yangu ni venye wase wengine ufanya kuna wale wase ufanya um, SQL query optimization na hiyo ndio life yake na hiyo ndio tunalamka kifanya kila siku so database yake ikiwa na bottlenecks hiyo ndio kazi pekee yake anafanya um, kuna wale wase wanafanya tu react akina dan anaitwa anga dan ama nani Utasikia tu akiongea yeye anaongea tu Angular ama React. So wana focusing on one thing and they try to get so good at it. 
Um, deliberate practice, I think you have to Unless kuna mtu mwingine tena kuna story ya deliberate. So tunaweza enda kwa story ya wale asoboeka na job. Sijui kama kuna msamahi fika place ataki job tena. God. Ah, uh, sigu. Yes. Yeah. Um maybe unaweza highlight your point here. Usi analan something new from YouTube. Mm-hmm. And how is he or she supposed to talk about it? Like how how does one get content from YouTube? Maybe kama ni MC Android anadai ku perform ya networking maybe do some threads akitumia maybe retrofit ama okay HTTP atalana mm-hmm. aje so like and like watch a tutorial for once and maybe you've mastered everything from maybe the java classes so um maybe you are light on that okay um kwanza ku soma from youtube it's usually a good idea as long as you know what to watch very good idea as long as unajua hii ndio kitu nafaa kwa na watch then ukishaanza ku watch your youtube and it's normally a very good starting point because as a beginner you want someone who's already done something utaki kupewa vitu mingi sana so una, unaweza sikiza huyo mtu wa nini wa um, anaitwa wa youtube uh, kuna stages of learning i think nili watching nani akisema uh, dev thomas alikuwa anasema the stages of learning which was actually a study done by someone else there's the beginner and an absolute beginner how they learn is they wait for you to tell them what to do they have no clue ni kama driving ukianza ku drive unangoja nga kuambiwa sasa finya clutch eka ndani change gear uweke hivi aya achilia hii pole pole that is a beginner that is why they go to youtube because wanaambiwa type hii ana pause i was there unaambiwa type hii una pause unaenda na type si ndio alafu unasonga so a beginner do not yes they have an idea of where they want to go but they always just wait for instructions wanataka tu kujua fanya hii fanya hii fanya hii fanya hii at the end of the day they are very happy as you advance you will now start looking for cues mtu anakuambia um i need to do a http request you know exactly where to get the information you can read it from the docs na u manage na skika yes yeah. na skika oh thanks so you know exactly where to get it unaenda kwa docs uitafute na uifanye as a http request so kuna hizo stages za ku learn tips jika nimekujibu so as a beginner yes if you get the correct youtube video watch it they will tell you what to do do it as you advance utajitoa huko utajipata tu hauko huko tena then okay sure. yeah then you are beginner huwezi kuwa na deliberate huwezi decide that he, this is what i am going to do because you don't even know how the word, that word looks like who is this ama unaenda kwa android dev ama backend dev mwenye ana deal na apis why later your programming bado hujui just when you get into programming ya backend ndio ta realize kuna so many other gymnastics that goes on there so many languages so your specialization comes with time baadaye ndio utasema ah, ah mimi nitakuwa nafanya tu apis what a postman they're just making money out of api because they have been there for long enough so teams yep okay nice so twende kwa kwenye my boy kana kazi ile hutaki hiyo job hata unashangaa is this even the right thing for me to do so the first thing yenye mtu jiambia ni naenda kwa mtapreneur watu wangapi wamekuwa na hiyo feeling mimi naenda kuanzisha kazi yangu be honest Naenda kuanzisha kampuni yangu, naenda kufanya hizi vitu, sijui naenda kufanya nini. Anyone mwenye amai kwa na hiyo nini? Ako ka feeling whether umeboeka na job au umeboeka ama unasema there is one day that you will start your own company hata kama uko employed. Anyone who is at that stage and uh, they are still at that stage na wajaanza kuifanya. We can discuss that here. It correlated na just what you are to talk about. 
Eh yeah, na leo mtai kuongea. Mila tu atuka mimi hatujafika hiyo stage. Amjafika hiyo stage. Au jitaka kuanzisha kampuni yako? Ah uh, umesema ati tumechoka na job. Eh yule msa amechoka tu nayo sasa the first resort is ah mimi naenda kuanzisha kampuni ama kitu kama hiyo. Bado. 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 Mimi ni rafiki. Eh. Okay, but okay, I can say you might talk on a job sana hivyo but what has ever happened? Okay. Said you know the company ama nini. But uh yeah. I've been employed mara mbili ama tatu hivi. Uh I've done my internship at Q. Nilipe huko kazi for some few months then nikatoka nikapata kazi kingine. So I worked there for 6-7 hmm, months. Then uh, the year was interesting. So at the other time I forgot nothing about Kwanza Abs Lab. So at least nilikona na get more reason. Mbona niache hiyo kazi na I come up with it on Abs Lab. Kwanza my employers wanaudi sana. Naona fikiria kato kulipa pesa is the only good thing they can offer. So me then but at that time I don't really think okay I, I was having that to look on my mentality I want the absolute uh, yes but already going to run other but the main thing why in that case it was like ah more I continue for you guys it's boring yet it's not so much pressure man you got the idea haraka ya nini inache tu kazi nende nyumbani Yeah, but after that, after the experience in one case, I think I have more than reasons enough for now to concentrate on just building house lab and maybe not think about employment again. Yeah, you in the monoton as to any website more just you if I need to wake up or do you to up or do you have a healing if I need to plant a tacky customers and like SMS is it not kind of life is boring. Ah, nikulize yeah. magak yeah. what if haungeanzisha nini haungeanzisha another company mm. how do you think you'll have gone about it ile ungeifanya aje yani because maybe you don't have the courage to loop out to leap out but mm. lazima kwa mekwa hii kampuni for a while um how do you handle such a situation how do you make the best out of it job in abo nothing is interesting okay <laughs> What is not actually, a solution? I stayed there pretty long enough, but in the Jew, yeah, yeah, because uh, I just said to stay there. First, we're going to put up. First, I could buy a new laptop. Now, to cut it off, you have to cut off a few bills here and there. Now, yeah. So, I think me mostly what I did is just consider on my stuff. Then the file, I do the name. It is the the boring daily work, and then uh, I think it I just just trying to think of more solutions to bring to the company rather what they they already have. So yeah, maybe producing new features at Kaiza. Just things that could spice up to to find it to the A and B and C daily stuff. but most i utilized that stuff to really expand on a, on a, a number of, of things so that I so basically una decide to una decide to unafanya vitu zako zenye aziusiani na kampuni as such but si kuna ndo senior ki realize kitu kayo anaanza kuletea issues yeah i had issues a number of times even kuna za zingine i just wanted to work from home na wako like you know just have to come but me in corner of my was like kaka kuna kitu nimeifanya is like okay sema sijafanya hii na hii acha kusema nafanya hii na hii but kind of yeah. I, i really can't base my uh, my stuff on that and uh so that I wasn't fanya hivyo because i just so much pride and i was just uh, what was convincing you that i was in third year so that I don't already do sure ni valize but at least naweza there are your school fees and that so it's like I was just uh, so basically you had nothing to lose I had nothing to lose 
Uh, so wewe well, si yule family man mwenye akienda mahali ana ana nini? Akifukuzwa ndivyo hapo screwed up kabisa. But it worked, but it worked. What are the things that I was trying to do? Uh, I introduced yeah. new apps. I, I I automated some some of the things that they were were not being tracked. At least I made some few dash was and there's at least you know you get to get creative about the stuff. And there's also one thing I've realized when you when you employ someone and uh, you feel like there's little to do and maybe you're not getting busy at least I think in your mind you should realize it's like it's time for you to pack and go just you've not been told you are leaving <laughs> but oh my just so so lenye ilikuwa what if packing and going is not an option for the moment oh it's not so an option. yeah packing and going is not an option for that moment uh mm. you really bored with this job uh look, looking for another job is not an option what do you need what can you do guys anyone with any other opinion about this idea apa what do you think someone needs to do or what will you have done or what do you think you might have done i have a suggestion yes so um say i'm in this job that i don't feel like i'm gaining or i don't feel like I'm contributing much to the company so definitely it will be boring for me. So what if you come out to your employee and tell him or her that we need to do this we need to innovate new ideas and something like that. Oh so uki approach mtu mwambie you need to do something else mdosi wako. Yes. Okay. You can uh, based on the same kuna wale nilio isikia wakisema ali alianza ku automate vitu venye tu magaka anasema yeye alianza kufanya vitu kwa hiyo kampuni things that the company never did before and uh, it actually turned out to be her job. Alianza kuifanya kwa hiyo kampuni ali get so good at it that it later on became her company. So her company was actually based on what she started doing when she was bored on the other job. So uh I think it to be a bit abstract. Example if you're in a um, programming company when you wanna tumia kitu kama WordPress for example that you don't like let's say now there's not so much to be done I think the first thing that you can start to do is to look at how can I automate deployments for this WordPress Um the other thing is unaweza anza kusema how can i make a theme for our wordpress thing then unaanza kuuza hizo themes so sometimes it's just good to make use out of uh, to make use of mashida zenye uko nazo any other advice If mtu ameboeka job na kutoka is not an option what else could, do you think they can do uh, I think ni kuna kitu kusema hapo So yeah. ukichoka na job and living is not an option I think I think personally kinyani magoja kuona ni uh, you might consider a career break at some point uh, it's not a bad thing um you know kuna if you take uh, if you take a few months off you're not you're not working working per se um nikao umeenda sabbatical or something kitu kama your break um so ni kama you you're going to just refresh your mind and think about your next steps so i think uh ni kitu nimeona ina work uh vizuri um we just out there exploring new options no hurry but kuna kuna dakuko kuna challenge juu most people out there people will need the money for rent expenses and everything so i mean inafika kama umejipanga vizuri and you feel like umechoka na your job i think even taking a break is an option um as much as unasema kutoka si option i think it could be a good option actually for someone and then um maybe you work work in a specific industry for a very long time and um kind of like unaenda nje upumzike and then ufikirie your next steps so you're just trying to retrace your steps and maybe join something else that uh in your interest so i think personally i would say taking a break is a good thing all right nice so um I think umetu umetupeleka to the next stage where now living is an option. Sindio? 
So if living is an option, the first one to say living is not an option. So say it to say living is an option. So the first option is talk or just take a break. Don't go to, into any other company. Think about what you're trying to do. If living is an option again, you might decide to go to, into another company. I think we can discuss about that per day. But if you live and you start your own business, I have a few pointers for you. If you really want to start your own business. Yes, Nicole. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm also thinking at the same time, uh, just know the person that you are. Uh, when you are into a certain job, you an interest, you have, you, have, you have a space for growth. So maybe that was what was exciting for you because you're going to learn uh, something new. Na kusababu yeyo ndo mana uliste pasisasa your board because maybe ni routine and maybe you're not the kind of person for routine. Maybe just find the person that you are. Na maybe u try to find environment in your poana. So either way uniza matu u live. But I think uh the person that you are as you join a company and uh kujua vile and operate pain is a help. Uh, now that when I say my vote, do you think sometimes it's the company and not the career? Uh, it's not the career, as in see code Yoshida, ni kampuni Yoshida. Yeah, I'm tending to think like that. Sometimes, not all the time, Sida. Yes. Okay. So um, that's a very good point, Nicole. Thanks. Um, if you know who you are, when you may say my vote, I see sometimes a describe who they are. Um, know who you are. Sawa. So that also in endana na kitujuma metoka kusema. If pia umeka uka take to your break, u relax, uangalia, is this something that I need to continue doing? Sendio. Career switch. Shide na kwanga wapi mtaki switch job. Ukitoka kwa hii kampuni, ukenda kwa ingine, juu hile ingine ilikuwe mekubo. Because I think the first problem enye mtu kwa nayo ni, maybe you are the problem. You didn't even take time to think about it. So wo me umebeba mashida zako ukapeleka the other side. Mavara za mashida. Shida sasa umeja a pesa. Pesa mtu hama kutoka kwa kampuni kwenda kwa ingine si ati jua meboeka but jua pesa. That's a completely different nini scenario. Completely. Hii tunasema mtu ameboeka anasema hii kampuni ni mbaya naenda kwa ile kampuni ingine. What if your boss never fail, uh, fails to listen to you on the other side? It end up with the same problem. So um, take your time. Fikiria wewe ni mtu aina gani just venye Nicole amesema you can even take a career break as vile Juma amesema. Fikiria tu as in usiwe na pressure rediscover yourself. I need a transition to the next one. So let's say umeshachukua career break, uka decide your first move is to start a business in what you are going to do. Uh, it's something to share from my personal experience. There are a few questions that you really have to ask yourself that we fail to ask ourselves. Ushajua wewe ni nani umejiaminia yani unajua ah mimi mimi naweza fanya hii na hii na hii. But most of us shida yetu watu nafikiria in terms of devs. So wewe unafikiria venye unaweza jenga app kali Android app iko na UI poa. Unafikiria venye unaweza jenga app yenye naweza serve million users still you are not ready for starting your own business look for a company that is serving a million users if unafanya ui design poa na nini za android na android apps zako ziko poa look for another company that does that na uende huko the reason i'm saying that is you still don't know how to handle clients number 1 how would you how would you kufikiria venye watu wa biashara ufikiria kabisa so, um, you being a very good dev might make you a very bad business person. A very bad one. It might make you uh, very bad at interacting with other humans. What we say mati tunakuanga siju ya jena. Watuanga kwa mambuwa kwa wati they don't talk to people. Ama ne masnob na wana ignore watu. Ata nyumbani tu saizi. Eh, iko kadha. Ata wala kwa chua na boyfriends. Wako. 
Kinajuma. Kuna kwacho na boyfriends. Ah, eh mzee hata kutoma ati kinajuma. Yeye ni kijambo. Acha ni clarify kitu sigu. Squeeze me ndio wacha na kachagu tena mzee. Eh okay. Kwa nini uliacha Chantel? Je, amesema tu kuachwa na boyfriend alafu naingilia hiyo story? Ah Chantel anajua anajua malipili watania. Lakini ni magaka kuanzisha story. Ni magaka kuanzisha story ya kuachwa? Eh. Yeah. Eh yeah, by the way na, kuna wase wachwa juu wako boring na vitu kama hizo because that's kind of our nature kama devs. Yeah. Uh, unatend kuongea hata Nicole alikuwa ame point out kitu I think ni jana majuzi uh, in one of our me alikuwa anasema why is it that when someone becomes a dev they start making so many typos hata wa chat una chat na mtu hata utaki kurudi back at una correct kitu uliko umeandika vibaya unatuma tu so me theory yangu hapo ilikuwa ati eh <laughs> sawa bado kitu kitu ni individual bwana usitoweke vitu za hiyo bwana uko sure anaingia kwa whatsapp yako sasa hivi niangalie haya ingia hata mimi nasema tu ndio kama hiyo ah ni nyenye tu msitweke hapo sisi watu tuna relate na mbogi vizuri pale tunacheza fifa tuko sawa tu na tuko online 24 hapo i think ni tabia tunazoyanga tu with time kutaongea na watu vitu kama hizo alafu unaanzisha kampuni yako na sasa unahitajika kuongea na client. So ah inaanza kuwa issue sana sana sana. So after the career break if you decide to take a career break think about it you might decide to work with someone else. Kuna watu wengi wanafanya na watu wengine na bado wako sawa. Si ndio? Mtu ana work na mtu na ako poa kabisa hana shida at all. Wenye waliwacha na boyfriends kuna boyfriend kama wewe aga, a, kuna boy kama wewe ako mahali anangoja tu mtu kama wewe jua aliachwa na girlfriend so kama kama uliachwa andika hapo kwa chat niliachwa i love i love to find a pairing haya <laughs> we that aside eh na watu wana join later je wenye aliachwa waseme hapa kwa chat ama mnaweza ingia hapa kwa slide by the way niingie slide niangalie maswali Terry alikuwa muuliza there's so much noise in social media platforms everyone is showing off their achievements sometimes you get challenged and other times you get overwhelmed perfect nice sometimes you undervalue your skills uh, when you have nothing to boast to post about it how can you manage this very good question um the first and foremost thing you must believe in yourself. Hiyo ndio kitu kwa kitu kwanza. There are so many idiots making money out here. But just because they believe in themselves, they are making money. So many idiots wako wengi, yani yule msa hata unashangaa. Angalia example ya we work. Nimeandika hapo. Uh, angalia example ya Elizabeth Holmes, uh, Theranos. They just believe in themselves. Alafu wanaenda tu na wanaanza. Yes, kelele iko. Watu wengi sana upiga kelele. Na wale wase una admire wakipiga kelele mingi. 99% of them you don't know them. 99% huwajui. The moment utawajua hivi, uta realize wanapiga kelele. Hawafanyi hiyo kazi. 99% of them again hawafanyi hiyo job so usikuwe threatened na kelele ya mtu on social media it's just because hawajui so uko zile za eh mtu anafanya hapo no 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 hiyo ni mdomo so uh, any any other person mwenye anaweza msaidia Terry so much noise on social media nafanya msana jianda value na hizi vitu zote i think the thing is ni individual kitumia vianga watu i think uh, sigu juma mavi na hapa so many guys ni mjoki na wewe na nini ni personality za watu kuna watu feel kuweka out there 
kuna watu feel kunyamazia i think even if i think mtu akipost so much of our their stuff we should even appreciate it is like an akupea subtitle of, of their lives for free so that if really you need to get or catch up on something at least you really know what they are doing the salaries are around the was you might think you are at level siku moja unaona hapo giza tu and the other thing is you love you always have to live with the facts and and the quality go ground kama unajua kitu unajua kitu kama unajua kitu unajua kitu and the reality that you do kitu is even greater gives you the time to work on that thing i don't know sitting there and fearing and hiding yourself from seeing what you have done will not make you know that thing and an ada so i think in all in all honesty is like appreciate those who put their life out there because it's a free subtitle that you don't need to pay for that really need at i don't even need ones that like what is what they, what they do to get better because it's already outside there and that's why as a manga people who believe in mentors or what don't personally if you say somebody doing something great don't feel threatened if you see something they doing good which which you really admire try and emulate and maybe do something like that i think in every individual that you know that are devs that that one thing which if you add and compile this stuff then you be a greater person and then at the same time i don't think if there is an si unit of measuring to what levels people are good or not is about your personal confidence and esteem and that's what we've seen in the past we have people who know are very good devs and they have not even learned the jobs so we see people who are starting to learn code like yesterday and they learned very good jobs because of their self esteem their self confidence and they believe that they can do what they are doing i think the funny actually i've run to sound more of a motivational speaker because i hate positivity but yeah and you could use usha kwa motivational speaker for like 2 minutes i love so on answer because you don't want to be you are very good one endelea So basically uh ni monanani amesema mavo sijimbo nataki kuongea but mavo amesema focus and reduce the noise that's a very good point uh mwenyamulizi wa swali please yes noise will always be there choose the noise yenye unataka kusikia acha sana okay yes please mavo so i'll, I'll start uh, think uh, uh, the other day last week I bought an application it's called focus to do list and uh, and this is a conversation I think I've been having with myself for a very long time uh, you'll realize uh, uh the social media is designed to show to to show kind of engagement that is why everything is designed from the number of green commits you have the number of likes you have the number of notification you get uh to mentoka kitambo from when getting an email was was awesome okay getting a text was awesome but nowadays unaangalia msana angalia a uko na text ngapi ukiingia kwa whatsapp yangu sijajibu 120 something messages msana ana uko busy no I'm just reducing the noise and reducing the noise help in this in this way number one it gives you <clears throat> by default default setting every human is jealous hata size mkiniona na tesla mtalala ba so that noise will always affect you and uh, there's something you said earlier about focusing on one programming language uh and that's affected a lot because otana juma ananza kuongelea go you know this guy is starting to talk about vjs and you jump you jump ship and you losing the focus you not focusing on what you need to do back to social media is designed for interaction and you know a lot of noise 
the reason why about the application in Nilianza now is utatumia waka time, utatumia this time, time application, utav the green cards in the green boxes in your git commit. But at the end of the day, if ikikuliza, what is the final output? But I say, you know, I'm, I'm still trying. So the point is, how much can you concentrate? You know, I got the application and I realized in a day I can only concentrate for two hours. 24 hours, deep work, if I'm doing deep work, I was only able to concentrate for two hours the first day. The second day, I push it to three hours. So, is it to sort of the noise and everything? Oh, Marvin, new client and stuff like that. Like Emmanuel said, we, we have made some few achievements, but we rarely you know, kind of mention them because we know very well if we start mentioning them, we'll start. You, you'll kind of, there's inferiority, what do you call it, complexity. But you will inject that one to someone. I love what happened and that kind of you know, bad feeling they feel bad about themselves. So number one, it's not about you, Munyere. Number two, the other person that is you now, if you're if if you're having achievement, just always try as much as possible. Try as much as possible on, on to consider that that some other people are not privileged. Okay. The number two, as you can number two or number three, but the next point is look look at your success, okay? Look at your success rate and how you help people, those two rates. So if your success rate is 90% in your seven ajua, but when you know Sadia community is like 10%, that means you are the problem, not the, uh, the community. And, 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 and I get this a lot sometimes, I jump on a call with you, or you know, my team, everyone who is close to me, and sort of hey Buddha, this is the way things in the end. And there's a support between you and that person. Rather than learn me a good client deal or build an awesome application giving me X revenue, and you know, I start being proud about about uh, which we achieve. But my circle, the people around me, they don't know to me achieves so far. They only see it on social media. When Emmanuel Alisema, Neza kuwa na umtu, and next time, boom, the guy ako na Tesla, na shanga kwa ni ujama shidaki likuwa hapi. Ma voce no nua Tesla to father, let's tell all. No, I'll buy one by the way in a few years. I'll buy one. Hey. Yeah, man, Kenya <laughs> so, uh, 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 so, so, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> The point is, I think Kuna, I usually design my personal desktop. So there's one I designed called Loki Prolific, and uh, I borrowed that one from Nepsi Siyama Ju. The guy was killed, the, the hip hop artist. So trust us, the guy had a huge impact in the, in the community compared to his success rate. So, Usikwe, Usikwe, Usikwe. Social media is a lie. Don't be, don't, don't. Can you be stuck? I'm going to buy a tester. I put in a false token. Like in easy, this is a social media. Let's keep up with them. But I'll encourage you as much as possible to reduce the noise. Come out on so many subscriptions in your uh, in your email. Try as much as possible. You know, be proud of receiving an email and you know, to encourage. So reduce the noise and subscribe from them. If you have a lot of nonsense in your status, people are, are not posting things that relate to their focus, just say it on a good feature, you can mute and you can only view time attacker. So make use of those kind of features. 
mamaka sikuja anaona uko na status kama 100 and you feel proud of having 100 status mimi niko na 1500 contacts status zangu peke yake zinafikanga sg 300 nikika status zinafika like 200 views but i'm like i will never post a business there because these are friends nikitaka kuambia say go about or i'm working on i'll just pick up a phone and you no know, make a call so try as much as possible you can have a different topic on reducing the noise but try as much as possible to reduce the noise so hiyo kitu na okay you so you ni complain na register ukisema it pressure you ni complain na register sorry so mavo yeah basically i reduce pressure from email and subscribe vitu haitaji um at a twitter apunguze pressure fb apunguze pressure whatsapp status na inbox pia apunguze hizo pressure sinda yeah twitter you can use uh, twitter deck for posting that you know at least buy you from all the noise yeah. okay kuna hiyo option nyingine yenye um mtu anaweza fanya If you focus unasema if uh, if you are an android dev then there's so much noise on android um mm-hmm. at least it's some quote in quote positive noise sindio yeah exactly positive but, noise positive noise so that positive noise it could drive but ukiangalia okay, android alafu tena uone aya anafanya hadi go pia anafanya elixir pia then unaanza kuwa na um unaanza kuwa na ile pressure ya people know so much more than i do Oh, speaking of that, speaking of that uh, say on, on knowing language because you say nafanya you know when you're working on something for example if you build a application for a client an ERP but the next thing na jua the client at itaji a desktop application so I have to learn a desktop application to do that on or I somewhere so when you're learning a new language kwa na purpose ya kufanya hiyo kitu kama mimi PHP you will find I do go but you will find me talking about PHP because that is my revenue channel no no mm-hmm. so as much as possible that is my revenue channel okay so if you need to do something unaweza uliza eh mbona umsali la alianza kuchua hii kitu unaanzianga hapo okay unataka kufanya mobile app okay so unajua language gani na jua PHP the best language we kuanza mbio mbio anza na java utakacha hapo mbio mm-hmm. na so yeah so when when this this noise around tech new technology new technology kikuja give it some time uliza maswali angalia you are stuck and investigate so have the positive noise yeah ah uh, sasa so, so. thank you now na nani joy anasema uh, he or she should try and ghost everyone just ghost them enda No for no, a while uchukue hiyo nini ah hiyo hiyo pia ni poa by the way mavo just ghost them okay, itakusaidia kidogo skiza I'll, i'll say mbona ni mbaya okay uh-huh. so if you're a business person or if you want to connect to people you see mm-hmm. there's so many positive informations zinakuwa zinaletonga kaka kila siku okay mm-hmm. so you should have a kind of time uh, reducing the noise don't really mean ghosting everyone unaweza kuwa na a one hour during the day ya ku just check all the the, the notifications in Konayo and you, you be selective the relevant one kama mimi naifanyanga asubuhi so if you ghost people you might miss something pia so there's that fear pia so don't ghost yeah sasa umeja ghost, ghost oh, umeingilia the, the fear of missing out mavo ghost irrelevant she, she da- i don't agree with you yeah shida hapo sasa ni fomo yeah the fear of missing out ndio nafanya usi ghost watu so let's just do uh, yeah wayne you had something to say na jot kiaza hiyo story ya fomo tutamaliza wayne naje you ulikuwa me request kuongea hapa kwa chat yeah 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 <laughs> nasikia fomo up i'm like yeah and yeah things is real maze um anyway um so just to add on to what Marvin and Mekoki on um it's true there's a lot of noise you can hear so um for some people they might see for example maybe Mimi or Marvin or Juma or Nistugu for example like a post about um their successes or anything and I feel like it's as if we kind of like intimidating other people so, so for me personally the reason why I can say like oh they I'm doing this 
I'm a, for example, I got an opportunity to do this and that. My reasoning is not like, I'm trying to intimidate someone who is uh, probably, um, who has not been able to, to get such an opportunity. But it's more of to tell people like, hey, Atakama, umetoka mani flani, ambao ume yona, um, you're not worth doing it, you can actually do it. So for example, mimi kusema, kusema kweli, mimi ata kama kwa developer, ili anza tujuzi juzi siati, ili kuwa something I've done it for like years or anything. But looking at the smallest things that I've done, ata kani ili kitukidogo kuchangia ho community, trying to help someone understand the concept, it helps build their um, their confidence. And that's why, for example, mimi ata ki post on Twitter, the reason I posted is to show that, hey, by the way, um, I know in a hard that Unona, for example, you're not good in this, you're not good in that. But Kamavile Mavina Mesema, if you just take one particular stack and focus on it, that is how you get good at something, right? So for example, Nuo Anonanga, there's so much in the web about like kuna lot kuna patakuna mtu pala metua article React versus Angular, Angular versus View, React, View, Angular, which one is the best, Nilini. Um, should you do JavaScript? How much should you do PHP? Should you do Nini? Like the noise is everywhere. Tech, um, politics, um, social life, Nini, anything to do with just technology being involved or um, the community being involved. There's going to be a lot of noise. But what matters is that you find someone who is like, um, for example, Nasema Leo Abedui Juma. Um, I really want to get into the android field but there's so much noise out here what can i do to minimize on this so for example me juma another kwambia ah maybe it's true there's a lot of noise utapata like kuna new version of uh, let's say android will release a pack or something to come um but one thing is you first of all understand these are my fundamentals get to understand what am i doing or what am i working on for example pole 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 unajipata Ile Android look on scare so much noise, you've even caught up with it in the sense that now you know ah, he update key are released, you know that what's next, right? Um, it is true that yes, people should definitely focus on things and not just make a lot of noise. Um always try and build yourself um on a in a personal level, in the sense that um for example, Angalakama, for example, someone like Velda, who has been posting about her, her 100 days of code. She's been doing it in the sense that she's trying to help someone else out there. Like, um, by the way, you can actually give yourself a challenge, right? I'm going to do this for this particular number of days. Because me, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to say, oh, 100 days of code, I'm going to show code. But reality, you'll find like these code newbies, they love to see that hey, someone is actually doing this. Let me get into it. Which you never know. You'll find someone who is like you find someone who's very intrigued, like what you do. They'll even in DM is like, oh, how can I get started? Since I even started doing um Angular, personally, me I'm still I'm still learning Angular. But me or to what to in a point on as an ingi, I'm an expert at it. I'm like, hey, by the way, maybe Sikwangi expert. But what I can do is I can provide you with resources to do this and that, and this is how you get good at it. Because I believe that. For example, like Sigu today, we say me too, una kuja, una post about Elixir. Someone will get interested in like, and what is Elixir all about? And maybe it's someone who's interested in finding a stack that does what Elixir does and what a stack does, right? So, uki hold off, it might be um, um, not helpful at some point. If it's something you feel like, you can share it, right? But it's not a matter of phone I make as a noise thing every single day. Just help someone who is out there tell them like um we have a community that does this and this um we'll be posting information here and there yeah and also talking about mobile ghost um kugost it might not be as um a good idea but anyway everyone is different that one is for sure and everyone has a way of dealing with stuff which is for sure um what I would say is yes, cut off some noise. Um if you have freeze some apps, some of those too much noise, but do not cut people out because you might find that you want to cut out maybe in the future might really help you. Um you never know, Yanni. Is it you know this tech? Yeah, FOMO in a, <laughs> FOMO in a <laughs> FOMO definitely is there. 
a uh, few of missing out is definitely there but um no ngine pia unaweza na ngati chini ya maji unaangalia ngati tweets za wasetu na check na check it za say like ah okay so yeah do not cut out people completely you never know they can actually be of help um moving forward when yeah. sorry nataka ku nini na ku intercept because tumeran out of our one hour so nataka nipitie hizi maswali zenye zilikuwa hapa so far tume discuss story ya um, kama umeboeka na job ama unaona ni kama job yako high grow what you supposed to do si ndio hiyo wenye alikuja let polemi so nitaenda kwa hiyo mkivutia maswali zitakuja on top alafu itavutiwa ya kwanza itajibiwa ya kwanza so uh, nataka tu tufanye story ya raga to cdd iko wapi nawapatia link you can vote on a question that you want answered haraka haraka ndio nimewapatia link tena Jana said I think we should uh, talk about ghosting. Uh ni ka social media. <laughs> yeah, it is chat za huko pia ni ka social media tu zina nini? Zinasumbua mtu akili. Eh, kuna moja shavotiwa hapa. How do you manage imposter syndrome? Um I think really pia na an example last time. My opinion again, an imposter syndrome is like being short. Um if you are short amongst tall people, na wanashinda wakikuenjoy. How do you manage that? You accept you accept that it's a part of you. So imposter syndrome is a part of us. There is no way we'll ever do away with it. Just know it's something that we have and atutai atutai yachana nayo. So just know you are an imposter. Accept that you are an imposter and not even the experts wanajua not even the experts have an imposter syndrome. I talked to one guy who maintains a very big library ya ku install operating uh, nini packages kwa um, macos inaitwa homebrew umsale tonga nani mike eh alikuwa ruby confer pa kisumu hapa nairobi sorry mike alikuwa ananiambia he's not as good as i think he is so basically ako na imposter syndrome And if you ask anyone about imposter syndrome just accept ni kama ufupi tu. Kama wewe ni mfu ama kama wewe ni mrefu sana kwenye watu ni wafupi there's just nothing you're going to do about it accept that is it and um continue knowing that you will feel like an imposter while you're not an imposter. Oh, okay, so kuna swali? Yeah. yeah. Kuna kuna hizo lingine ijavutiwa sana but I, I think uh, ni something napenda ku address. Mm-hmm. Uh, apo kwa green dots there are people asking for GitHub profile but sasa I have one project but but are close to white profile. When do the green dots help? No, the green dots does not help. They don't help. Ni kama wewe kupata likes tu, they don't pay you. So what people look uh, kwa profile yako ya GitHub is the, the way you write code. That's why they good uh, Uh, that's why they they go to your your github profile the way you write code the way you structure your code the way you comment your code so you should not emphasize on you should not emphasize on the green dots you should emphasize on code quality they will atawanga wafikangia so niko na twist to that marvel Uh, yes the green dots don't matter if they are close together but the green yes. dots show consistency so yes in order to consistency if you have a green dot late last year and no other green code uh, green dot i mean sorry however great your code is it might show that you are inconsistent if you have a dot in january ingine ko feb alafu ingine ko august it's probably going to show that you are inconsistent that's the other flip of it Yeah. Can I share my screen Sigo? and to explain uh-huh. this let me just share my screen make sure you close other tabs that you don't need to see <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so. so while una nini while una share naweza nini naweza angalia yeah, yeah, getting yeah. excited with so many different technologies yes oh ndio share share Ah uh, wait afute okay okay what did you niambia So there's yeah. someone getting excited with so many different technologies hata sijui nifanye gani um on the road to being a jack of all trades a master of none how do i handle this perfect usually very normal uh, ni kama uki, uki, ukienda kumaliza form 4 kaulizwa ukapewa options 10 unataka kufanya course gani 
uh, you never decided hadi ufike kampuni una realize hata yenye ulichagua pia haikukuwa mzuri so um the excitement comes because um sorry i'm going to use a wrong word because you are um ignorant how do you get to that's why everything excites you um with time utakuja kujua some things don't just work the way you think they are um how to choose a language and to stick with it sometimes mean as a chagua tu language yenye niko na support support in that niko na mtu anaweza soma naye whether it's physically or online and that can be one of my ways of choosing something to do um the way you start out in a language is never the wrong way uh, a language that you program in is the same as the language that you speak in if you were given a chance to choose which language you speak with to kill a total you'll never have prob- uh, chances of choosing your mother tongue or your first language are very low ingekuwa ngumu kwako sana kusema hii kiluya ndio yangu si ndio but you knowing kiluya as your first language has not stopped you from speaking english sasa hizi si sote tunaongea kiswahili so the same applies to programming languages mimi nikishapata tu msa anaweza nifunza ama a group of people yenye tunaweza funzana na wao i'll go with it that is my um, my talk about it yes mavo umepata yeah yeah nimepata so i think uh, we can talk about uh, about this mini biombi i think i'll try as much as possible nene biombi please don't usiende after this one useme mavo talked about you xyz it's just for learning purposes and stuff kai okay now of the uh, uh david mjomba this is this, uh, this guy is my former cto i worked under him then after the talk and can hear so as you can see the the nini are very very wide okay but he's working for i think uh, company uh, germany or denmark okay and uh, the the way alipata hiyo kazi is very simple walikuja hapa nini yake ilikuwa trivo then they came to mpesa this project okay then the guy didn't look at those green is the way you structure your code so on the left side of my screen you will see there's a kind of a menu on the way he structured his code so you are having a story with him on how he got employed with that company but he say like uh, the way you structured in the way you write code all that one so he writes a lot of php and js i'll go to the second profile this guy here uh is a is a is a i think a cto at uh, killhq but now they deal with a lot of open source projects he maintains a lot of open source project is a very very skilled guy that's work on a lot of green okay then there's this guy i followed this guy last week he's called oc he writes good code i mean i followed him because of this this package here it's called laravel notification for africa stocking we have a lot of that one but he's not a famous gentleman in kenyan nini hata alikuwa ananiambia kwa inbox ya twitter but the way he writes his code is is super awesome okay So and that's how I follow people I look at your code and I'm interested on uh so in how you write your code. Then we have this guy here. I think is the the most one of the top guys in Kenya in 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 GitHub. Mm. And ideally when as on follow him as stuff guy but when I checked on his code I was not that impressed the same to this one and the same to this guy. So The point is when 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 uh, when these guys are going to employ you they will never look at the grain. Yes, we can say it's consistency but we use different uh, repository. Naweza kuna fanya kazi the only about my company wana tumia bit bucket. Alafu I want to quit the same way uko na sema you want to leave your job and you know go to go to another job. Go, uh, get employed somewhere else and uh, watakwambia we want to see your github repo. repo don't be scared how many repos you have kauli sema unafanya php go js 
take one of your projects in Kunafanya GitLab ama Bitbucket, migrate them to uh, to GitHub, tell them this is my project. They will look at the code. They won't look at the number of repos you have. They won't look at the number of green dots you have. If okay, Liz, well, those kind of questions go on to me and you're very genuine because if you look at my GitHub personally, I think they are less than 40 repos. But to kinda COVID bucket, I have like over 200 repos. No, no. So I need I needed to clarify that one to junior developers. You are afraid of applying for jobs because the way your GitHub repo looks like. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh Kunam Samea Hongera Apo. At least sharing your screen in Mepeana it may bring out the point vizuri sana um kuna way no inana sema there was this argument that the lady who has who was part of the team that discovered the black hole didn't have many github commits yet she's one credited for identifying yeah commits nini but maybe just consistency that's all that's all it shows it doesn't show that you're a good developer it just shows that you code at least once in a while um getting excited kuna mtu mwingine ameuliza hapa i'm stuck ajui kama achague android ama web again uh, my opinion again just go with um what is the nearest chukua ile yenye karibu uko na android job ama uko na web job why are you learning it is it because unataka kuwa dev wa kampuni fulani ama so you you at least need to have an end in mind kwanza it will be easier for you uh, learn android if you want to do an android app for some particular reason don't learn android just because you need to know android wengine to tujifanya android hata tujui inafanywa aje and we've been here for almost nimekaa kwa miaka like 5 6 years and sijawe gusa android atinaifanya uh, the way i came to choose the language that i do was purely accident it's because i wanted to do a particular thing na ilikuwa web so i didn't make any rational choice i just went with the nearest possible thing that's how i landed in ruby uh that's how i had to learn js it's because it was solving my problem so achana na web achana na android fikiria what problem are you trying to solve solve that problem with the hata kama ni php iweke hapo php ime survive africa is talking wa merano on php people are around on php start with your php then when you hit scaling issues because maybe php high scale ask facebook how they scale it or hey, go to another one. company that can help you out php facebook to sipigeni hiyo vitu next question ah 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 hiyo vitu ya php haitawai isha sawa sawa we'll continue another day Hey Sigu, I have a problem in presenting my ideas to people. I have failed in interviews because of this. The recent one being on Monday. Oh Jesus, sorry. Ulianguka interview and you don't know why you will fail interview. It's probably because you don't know how to communicate. Hey, hey, hey. in terms of ideas. How do you communicate your That's ideas to people? I think Sigu the best thing is. Huh? Yeah. Uh but I, someone experienced come go within the the the, the participants can have one is anonymous so i think i can recommend frank so someone can leave frank tambo tambo twitter handle in the in the group and as a but i'm i'm lazy at following up kiasi so yeah join uh, join to sort out eh? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'll, I'll sort you out on that. Yeah, that's the best way. All right. So I'll mark it as Nini has uh, answered. Manage imposter, I'll mark it as answered. Uh, getting excited, I'll mark it as answered. Then what prompted you to go towards entrepreneurship in tech as opposed to getting employed and earning a stable and reliable source of income? I, yeah. Uh, I need my freedom. Uh, to choose the stack that I want and no one was willing and is still willing to use the stack that I normally use. Yeah, and uh, when I was getting into this, I had no idea, not even a single idea of how rough it is. 
I would not advise you to ingia tu chini uh, kichwa maji if you're interested unaweza niuliza baadaye tujaribu Oh sabi pia wapi unataka kusaidiwa story ya nani ku express ideas zako Um any experience thoughts on cyber security infosec web android hapo sasa si kona na tusaidia It's a very underrated road map Cyber security ya Android na web. Anyone mwenye ameona practically mahali ama mwenye kwa kitumia? Wenye wako na majibu hawako. Uh, so I think inatumika sana sana on uh, anything yenye na usupesa. Anything yenye na usupesa watu wa insurance na watu wa banking sana sana and most of those systems hazitengenezwa ngi huku. Zaidi zinatengenezwa huku ni za Mpesa tu. So um, I am personally not in a position to answer that because I have no idea. Unless kuna mtu ana idea atusaidia hapo. Advices on cybersecurity or infosec as an alternate to web and android dev. We can we can do this for next time since you have time to ama jibu. Dunning Kruger effect and what does it have? Dunning Kruger effect is a funny thing. Um, the Dunning Kruger effect in Asemanga the less you know the more you think you know. Beginner sana sana in anything wanaonanga ni kama wanajua kila kitu. Alafu the moment unaanza kujua kila kitu una notice haujui kila kitu. You know the Dunning Kruger effect. So if you are in a team with a beginner and you are intermediate ama uko na experience the beginner wanakuambia nga vitu zingine unashangaa. How do you think you know that? So if you understand as a, a more experienced person if you understand the Dunning Kruger you will understand your junior. As a junior if you understand the Dunning Kruger you understand that more things are coming ukumbele. Haujajua ya kutosha. Don't switch to another language thinking that you already know everything in that language. Vitu ndio zinakuja na ukumbele. There's a reason that language kuna watu wamefanya for more than 20 years. The moment kuna place tu kifika na uvuke hivi things now start kwenda hivi hivi yes joy sema joy you can share your experience ni mono me type hapo kwa chat unaongea ume mute kama unaongea okay Okay figure out unisho. Okay. Ah ndio hiyo eh. So okay mimi venye kila mtu kwa imposter syndrome ndio venye kila beginner kuna Kruger effect. Most of them yeah. most of them are kuna the Dunning Kruger effect. Okay. Si kila ma okay acha ni kuexplain Dunning Kruger not on t- in terms of programming acha ni kwambie in terms of driving. So niko sure hata Juma na kina Rube wako affected na history. Um Everyone who tells you about their driving they are the best drivers and all the other drivers are idiots. So how comes a hundred drivers one of them anasema 99 are idiots while the other 99 wanasema the other 99 are idiots on the road. It's because everyone believes that they are the best drivers. Wanafikiria sasa washajua kila kitu kwa ku drive. Juma sijasema umesema hivyo. I'm just saying drivers generally. Hata sikuwa ni comments lakini sasa acha ni. Acha ni comment. Mimi najua kila kitu. Uh, Dunning Kruger effect ndio hiyo kwa ku drive si ndio? Ah uh, ya ku drive. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. You know Dunning Kruger effect. Every driver knows that the other driver is an idiot everywhere. Hata kuna driver ni kushua other drivers call you an idiot and you call them an idiot. That is what you are taught in driving school. <laughs> yeah so it's you believe in yourself too much joy kabla watu wa take over ibu sema so hi yes joy um uh, so last was it last week yeah that we were for the interview in this big company assignments on zina as a data scientist yeah so yeah the first place obviously the code uh which i passed they said i passed because i made like i was among the top 5 finalists to come here 
If a person in any freaking out is the second part presenting, eh, you go there, you see people, yani, you know, like you have that dumb idea. Me, I'm sorry, but your idea wasn't dumb. Uh, so I realized the simple things they do, like, at your kukunya to your kahawa, in a intimidate to, like, bring yako in a freeze to. Unapata feeling young woman, me. Yeah, I think. So, so like, you, you just, your brain just freezes for a moment. You don't know how to address your issues. I think I have huge presentation problems. Because after that presentation, I was very, 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 like, super sure that I'm not getting this gig at all, at all, at all. Like, we were five of us in the, we were five finalists, yes, I guess, yeah. So, um, they said, like, uh, okay, when I went there, any, I have I have everything on my slides. I have everything memorized. I have everything on my fingertips. But presenting it, she da. Nani pata? Yes, nakupata. Yeah, nakupata. Juma kona comment. So that's yeah, my um, problem. Yeah, I think we're gonna talk some about that. Hi, Joy. <laughs> uh, so I think about that. I think it's it's perfectly normal. Um, Adam, you freak out, Maramob. Um, so, nakumbuka, um, so I, was, I was about to jump into this interview. And then, uh, actually, in a period, I think like three weeks ago, actually. And then, Nikambo, oh, you'll be interviewing with this guy. He's a, a senior engineer. I'm a final Android for like 10 years. So, I can't panic. And then, 30 minutes before the interview, I postpone the interview. I'm not feeling okay today. Let's do this maybe next week. So, uh, personally, I feel it's, uh, it's normal. And um, I think the way you... Uh, like the way to address that issue ni and makuja kuona ni the best thing ni sit down with a friend and then jaribu kumueleza ni kama ndio you interviewer so like it gives you that confidence to just express yourself and then kama kama ni online makuja ku realize if it's an online call like um say sit hapa na hapo hivyo so hakuna hata kitu anaweza kufanyia hata hakuna kitu anaweza fanya are you proper like in person so inafai kupa ile like unafai kuona ile confidence as a person to just express your views ingia hapo kwa interview just blank out ile idea unaongelesha siju watu watano kapo tu we express views zako kama joy like you you're talking to a friend una get your situation so nimekuja kuona if you do that ina like ina kusaidia sana like thought process yako inakuwa more smooth and then unaweza ku express ideas zako even more more better to people so if it is to happen it should happen kwangu na siju kama kuna mse uko na different way of doing it but me ni jaribu na kana best yangu na jaribu kumuelezea ni kama yeye ndiye ana interview like this this you ile ndo ni get your confidence and then and then pia i think a few minutes before the interview me kwa ni matens most times like unasikia ni kama hati yako ina race excessively and then no i freeze una, eh unaweza ingia alafu utana na za something that your brain like oh. exactly and then unaweza ingia kwa hiyo interview hata msa kuuliza unaitaga waje sasa mimi ito sibu so like brain yako inaweza new experience the same thing but um just try to like i'm so jaribu to decompose tena and then una, una chill like there's nothing wrong with that personally now we keep to see na like a perfect way of dealing with it but i know it happens for sure rube will connect you sema thanks uh, uh yeah so then, i think okay nilikuwa since i joined the call nilikuwa nimetoka so i don't know if you've, you've, been, you've been calling up when we come and mention in the past so ndio na mkoja niliku mention to say zile nilikuwa sema you call other drivers idiots <laughs> i guess uh, so eh kwa hiyo hii ya nini ya interviews kitu nime nime come kula na cj interviews peke hadi eh, other what do you call them other other interactions eh uh, kama hadi on twitter and everything so normally una jaribu to get into the psychology of this person of the person interviewing you uh, so uh, na kwanga na interest a lot in psychology so <clears throat> maybe this might sound nerdy uh, so basically una fa uongalia where is this person coming from amezoea ku interview other people amezoea ku interact na watu wanaogopa watu hawako show up themselves eh uh, na like there is a certain atmosphere in me co predominant in other interviews the goal is to try and change that kama all other interviews in me co you know very quiet and uh, or rather that's what most interviews are basically 
eh, mtu amekuja amenyenyekea na kanaonekana yani he wants to be as, uh, as to look as tiny as possible and not to you know cause a lot of uh, <coughs> Mm-hmm. It called commotion, but I can home. So basically, what you do, what you try to do is be different. Kama yezo zingine interviews zingine, ama you presume out when you know wapole. You go there bold, uh, because apart from this piece of person looking at your skills, they want to know how they're going to interact with you as a person. So that is what I've done. The first, the the few people I've interacted with, I've interacted not only on uh, interviews but here on Twitter, ama another nini. Come up here in tech communities, for example, you men acquire events and uh, you meet a certain big guy, big fish. Come on, Mimi, three years ago, and get a na Juma. I'm a Sigo. Normally, other people will be like, hey, Sasa, we need Juma, hey, Mimi, Sasa, Juma, I love your work, Mimi, blah, 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 you've been good. Hey, you do great things. In the end, I was like, hey, Nyaji Buddha, Kofiti, Sao, like, you see, uh, you change the mood and you'll be noticed, this people will notice you, you'll not be like the rest. So that is one thing I, I love telling people and I love doing. Alafu, uh, Joy, naeza ongezea tu kwa vitu zinyo umesema. Do not forget, uliko mention you had a presentation and an idea. The most important thing about your idea, ni yako. Okay, okay, it's, it's um, an idea, As in, at a presentation, as in whatever it is you're doing, yeah. It's you. They want to know about you. So there's no one else who knows you better than yourself. So in case they ask you anything about yourself, tell them. Um, if you asked, yes, tension is normal. You're not going to do away with the tension, Joy. Kila mtu na kwanga na tension. Kila mahali. So that's, I think that has come out clear. Tension is in a kwanga, time ya interview, ama whichever the time, izo zukua. Sit down, uh, answer as much as you can to the best of your ability. Yes? Hey, Rube, Ngoza, kuna toko kwa pikipiki hapa na kwa call. Atu mesema? Oh, nasema. Uh-huh. It's really the part where they ask you a question. Uh-huh. Or, and then they take a sip of coffee and drink water and then all the eyeballs. You know, like, and the eyes, yeah, you are waiting for you to come up na jibu and you may you may talk up from the gods or something. Okay. Remember your interviewers are people like us. They're people like our to na apa and you are interviewers. Amavona kitu. Uh, uh, may interview mtu before? Yes, what? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Now, I think I remember, so say what to interview what to. We, we just get, uh, we roll with you for uh, some time until to do when you say in a gun. We try to be as as kind of friendly as possible. So, I remember when I was working, I uh, was interview what to do with CTO. And you see, the whole, the whole essence of interview is just to mess up with your psychology. And if you don't know something, just say, hey, don't know. Usenze kuvunama answer from, you know, plesata yomunya ujui. So if you don't know, just say you don't know. Then most most of the things that you say is, is uh, <clears throat> The way you present yourself, the way you articulate, maybe when it's come to writing code or or product design, product design. So it is not about writing good code, because code will never learn any day, any time. It is about how can you design a software or whatever they're interviewing you for. So one saki sip tea amakombie wengoja talk interview is like when a jotu venuna is the interaction or to the way you express yourself to guys so msana za kuliza kitu hey kuangalia seme eh kwanza kwanza they usually do what is called social engineering serious company so wana iba all your information on social media so if you lie 100% they have all your information 
serious company or recruiting companies. So just try as much as possible and be real. Kama unandeka OP, just talk about OP. If you don't know, say you don't know, you can improve. Prove uh, given time. What? So is it vitu zini? Is it dynamic? You know, So so. Uh, thanks, sana mavo. Uh, Itabili sasa nimefunga. <laughs> it's been about one hour thirty minutes. Um, we've talked a lot. Tumefanya vitu mob sana sana. Joy, umetupatia topic kwa sana. I think kuna sikutu sha dedicate ya kuongelea so is interviews. That uh, from how it's going, uh, ni kama stories and interviews as easy isha sai. So we can dedicate another fun Friday just for interviews. Tupige tu story and interviews. Experience ili kwa aja na vitu kaizo. So what we could do is experience those interviews, then we just share them, help other people out. Now which guys? Oh, ah, la fuzego. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm I'm cooking something about training. It will be totally free. It will be virtual, but classes that are on Monday, Thursday, like two days in a week. So to oh, anyone, nice. <clears throat> to anyone in the group, so. Our um, fans, Ruben, Naona, Juma, can see so many guys. So I might send it uh, your way. Uh, it was about to explaining things the easiest way possible. Yeah, so I'll share it maybe in a week or two. All right, awesome. So, so for we will share for one. Yeah, it will focus on product development. Achana na code. Tumungalea code mingi. Sana, sana. So at least mtu atutoe kwa hini ni. So it will be learning code and how we develop software solution at Apps Lab. The way you think about software design with guys. Yeah. All right. So, uh, siju kama Monika kuredi kusema kitu ataongalea next Fun Friday. So Fun Friday, uh, tunatry kue no English, please. Unless na nimesema yo statement na English. Atuongei English most of the time just because it tunataka kuwe a normal conversation. If you have anyone you want to present, uh, please utuambie kama kuna mtu nataka kuwe, kama guest ama kitu kama hiyo. If you feel like you want to talk about something, nataka ku lead a session venye Monique alijitokezea. Asante sana Monique, ata tulidia the next session. Uh, Siezi ata ataka ku introduce ata kidogo. You naweza aribu tamwa hiyo session. If you're ready, you can introduce, you uh, can waambia kidogo. If not, tutawatumia emails kuambia about our next Fun Friday. Ni mwana ngesa mengi ya saizi, ngesa uh, maybe hauko Kenya, ilianza 4.30, sisi. Habari ya sigu. Fuasa. Hakuna English bana, sasa tutongea luga gani. Eh, hey, hapa hakuna nga, uh, tuna mix tu kawaida. Eh. Eh, nono ingia saizi ya ni? Sawa, so... so Ara ni kufunga tunafunga. Thanks very okay. much for everyone when you attend. For the questions that you've asked, those that have not been marked as answered, we'll try to the answer badai. Uh, Sabrina na nani na Joy tume promise to our follow up on story uh, confidence uh, see interviews. We'll do that next time. Any closing words from anyone? Thank you. Sigu, sigu. Yeah. Sigu. Bye, everyone. Mavo, Nanani. Nisawa. Uh huh. Ume sema mo ni kwa na next one Friday. You shall discuss off the air, please. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, guys. So, oh, my scare. Hmm. So actually, ni likuwa ni majaribu. Me sigu si juu for miyako ni gani? Namba yako ina kwa mtaja kila wakati. Niki call, niki call back. Eh hey, hey, hey. umesema ukweli lakini hapa kuna rekodiwa hebu acha hey, stop recording mavo sema <laughs> <laughs> so, 